Peace out, bye. It's your boy. Let's talk. We back with no video. All right, y'all. So today I want to talk to y'all about getting prepared. Now I haven't really been touching on videos like this in a few years. Y'all know for those of y'all who've been following me for a while, y'all know the old saying I used to always say: "Stay prayed up and stay prepped up," because it's gonna get real sooner or later. Remember I was telling y'all about the food shortages and, you know, the cost of everything is going to be going up dramatically, eventually, sooner or later. I've been telling y'all for probably like the better part of two and a half, maybe three years now. Like I said, I told y'all, I couldn't tell you when. I didn't want to lie, act like I knew exactly when exactly everything was going to go down because I didn't know. But what I did know was something was going to go down eventually. That was for sure, for sure. And it looked like it's about to start happening now. For those who maybe been living under a rock, I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the news, but all the ports are now on strike, all up and down the East Coast and part of the uh, the Gulf, um, the Gulf ports down in the bottom of the country. Uh, the reports are saying that on the East Coast alone. Um, the economy, the business is going to be losing about roughly $5 billion every single day that this strike continues. Meaning that the cost of everything is going to be going up now because corporations are losing out on money. The stock market is going to uh, go down. And not only that, but because there's no more deliveries as of right now because of the strike, there's going to be limited supplies on everything because of course certain warehouses and certain stores and everything they got things in stock right now already in inventory but what happens when that stuff start getting depleted I was just talking to one of my guys my guy Adam he was just telling me around his way he lives in uh, New Jersey and he was just telling me that uh, the Costco's and uh, the um, the BJ's and everything around his way is already running out of stuff. Now BJ's, BJ's is like a, a stock warehouse type store that you go there and buy things wholesale because BJ's is like one of those places where people go when they got like their own businesses and they buy certain things, kind of like Sam's Club and everything. But he's saying they just ran out a whole lot of toilet paper and all of other uh, toiletries. And I'm like, how can that be? Because it's starting to happen now. And this is the very beginning. If they don't come to some type of conclusion soon, then I I, I, I know within a couple the coming weeks, it's going to get real out here. And if y'all notice, things been getting real, real bad lately. I've been talking about this for a while. Like, it's a lot of gun violence. It's a lot of shooting um, going on. Just senseless crime unaliving uh, you got millions upon millions of illegal immigrants uh, being flown by the droves into this country getting all types of government subsidies getting everything that the, the average American citizens should be getting but they're not so now you got millions upon the millions of Americans feeling left out and a lot of them are fed up they want to do something about it then you got the Gangs, the immigrant gangs that's formulating in this country now, along with the gangs that's already in this country. There's so much stuff that's happening right now. People are losing their jobs, people are losing their homes. Like, I don't see exactly the, the it's, it just seems like a, a pattern of things that's happening, like a, a domino effect. And it just seems like it's, it's all heading up to one single thing and that's uh <laughs> what i believe like for some type of some form of civil unrest some some form of uh civil chaos uh, because just uh believe if things keep going the way they're going it's gonna get a lot worse before it can ever get better and uh I just see that 
I just see I see a lot of people unaliving themselves. I see a lot of people unaliving one another. I mean, it's already happening now. And it's not even that bad yet. So, can you just imagine when people can't afford to put stuff on their table? Not even just afford, but when people can't because it's literally nothing. Imagine going to the market because your child is hungry. Your child may need some some formula. You may got an infant baby. And there's nothing in the market. There's nothing to feed them. Nothing to give them some type of vitamins or anything. That's where desperation comes in at. And that's where people start to do things they never thought they'll be, they never even imagined they'll uh, do or be able to do when it comes to survival and the survival of the children. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, <laughs> you just get ready, man. Like, it's still time right now. Go shopping. Like, for example, <clears throat> I'm at my little gig right now. But when it's time for me to leave, I'm going shopping. And I'm about to buy some stuff that's going to last me a nice little while. Probably get like 10 cases of water. It's like 24 packs. Probably get like 10 of them. Uh, certain meats. A lot of non-perishables. Perishables. That's mostly important. Non-perishables. Because um, those things can last a long, whole shelf life on it. It's just, it lasts longer. So you want that. But just prepare. And the way I look at it is, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So even if I am overspending or over getting stuff, I'm eventually going to end up using it anyway. I always do. So that's the way I look at it. But y'all better be prepared because the strike is going on. Uh, the food shortage is coming. It's coming. And it's going to get real, real soon. So y'all better stay prayed up. Y'all stay prepped up. But that's all I got for now, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Drop y'all comments down below. Make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see y'all the next one. Peace.